Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. Sonic won the first one in a tear. Get the fuck out of here. Take your fucking meds, Grandpa. I have to agree. I think Sonic 1 is a decent platformer, especially. Are you fucking kidding me, Obama? You know what came out in 1991 besides Sonic 1, Super Castlevania 4, give me a break. There are precisely two good zones in the game, Green Hill Zone and Starlight Zone. The rest are all shit. Not even going to mention the cancer that are the special zones. Listen, you fat orange fuck. Sonic 1 is the only classic Sonic game that I would consider challenging. Now, I don't believe it is the best, but I like it for the challenge. Your election-denying ass probably got filtered by Labyrinth Zone. Bullshit, Pedo Joe. I'm able to beat the game with all six Chaos Emeralds on my old Genesis. Your ancient ass probably can't even make it out of Marble Garden. Look, Joe, I appreciate Sonic 1 for its challenge, but there's no way I'm putting that shit in a tier. Maybe B at best. Fine, whatever. Let's just move on. Now on to Sonic 2. Pretty sure this is, at the very least, a tier high. Best game in the franchise, S tier. Game is easy as fuck and puts me to sleep, and the quality nose dives once you reach Metropolis Zone. B tier. Sleepy Joe, are you serious? You complain about the game's difficulty, then say it goes to shit once you reach the actual hard part. You goddamn idiot. And you complain about Sonic 1's special stages when Sonic 2's has the fucking half pipe. You child-raping Epstein flying ass can't even make coherent arguments. Name me one stage in Sonic 1 that's as good as Mystic Cave Zone or Chemical Plant. That's right, you can't. Hell, you probably forgot about the stages that are in Sonic 2. Your Alzheimer's is probably setting in. Settle the fuck down, Donald. Joe is right, Sky Chase Zone and Wing Fortress Zone are pretty horrible. I'll give it an A. You people don't know good taste. If it hits you in the face, you apes will probably put Sonic CD below A tier. Sonic CD is fucking annoying. You can never convince me Wacky Workbench is a good zone. Wacky Workbench is the weakest part of the game, but the Japanese OST is the best in the franchise. I agree with the Donald A tier, at least. Thank you, Joseph. You know you may be an old, demented child sniffer, but it's nice we can find common ground. Back in the 90s on the OG Sega CD, I remember getting all the time stones and getting to Metal Sonic after I had sex with two Russian hookers. Sonic CD at least belongs in A. Sonic CD is like half annoying shit and half good stuff. I like the idea of time traveling throughout the zone and the environments and layout changing as a result. But getting the speed to do it is hard to maintain since the level design is so buns. Boo-hoo, you have to learn the level layout of a Sonic game to play well and do the extra content. Cry me a river, Barack. These games were made to be replayed and mastered. You know what, Joe? That's probably the smartest thing you've said all month. Maybe your mental decline ain't so bad. How the hell can you guys enjoy the level design of CD? I'm not giving CD anything higher than B tier. You know what? We live in a democratic society. All those in favor in putting Sonic CD in a tier say I. I. Fuck you both. For the sake of moving on, I'll put it in the A tier. But to be honest, I'm surprised Trump didn't try to overturn the vote. Fuck off. Okay, now on to something we can all agree on. Sonic 3 and Knuckles the Crim of the Crop. Easiest S tier of my life. The game is too long and gay. Sonic 2 is better, not to mention it's split up into two games, so really we should look at Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles individually. Donnie, I know you say a lot of fucking dumb shit, but that is the most room temp IQ take I've ever heard. Look, Barack, frankly, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is overrated. Shut the fuck up. You have the best lineup of zones in the entire series, an OST done by Michael Jackson. An amazing story for a 2D mascot platformer with no dialogue, visuals that push the Genesis to its limits, and the introduction of Knuckles. There is no other place for it other than top tier. It is the culmination of everything that the original Sonic team learned during their prime. To be fair, Sandipolis was pretty ass. I Skill issue, get good shitter. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is top, and that's final. Jesus Christ Almighty. Okay, now on to a game that we can all agree on. Man, how did Sonic Team get 3D so right on their first try? To be honest, I'd rather play the Sonic Tails and Knuckles levels rather than Mario 64. Adventure is A tier. Okay, let's not go that far, but I agree. Sonic Adventure is A tier. Really, the only parts that I don't like are Biggs levels, which honestly are not so bad by its own merit. It just doesn't fit with Sonic. Glad we can all agree. I hope we can also agree on the other top tier 3D Sonic. Get the fuck out of here, oh bummer, Sonic Adventure 2 top tier. You only like it because you can self-insert as Shadow F tier easy. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I swear to God, Donald, I'm going to jam my foot so far up your... Wait, what are we talking about? Take, Take your, your meds. meds. Yeah, you guys are right. One sec. Okay, Sonic Adventure 2. The game is pretty dog shit. The speed stages are just linear hallways with no alternate routes. The treasure hunting has that stupid-ass limitation for finding only one emerald. And the mech stages, dear God. 
Obama, you only like those stages because it reminds you of drone striking Middle Eastern children like in the good old days. Fuck both of you for the sake of the tier list. I'll put this in B. Sonic Heroes never played it. How is it? Easiest F tier of my life. You have to beat the same fucking game four times to get the true ending, and the special stages are cancer-inducing to play. Not to mention those slippery-ass controls, and even the music is weak. Can you even compare what I'm made of to open your heart or live and learn? Nope, you can't dog shit game. Agreed. Now on to another shit game, Sonic's 06 Easy F tier. I'm not gonna lie, Sonic 2006 is a guilty pleasure of mine. Explain your stupid election-denying retard. Whenever I play Sonic 06, I roll a fat-ass joint and glitch hunt. I'm always laughing my ass off seeing how the game breaks itself. Plus, the multiplayer is pretty keno. I used to play with Trump Jr. all the time in the White House. I'd play his silver and fling him into bottomless pits. He'd always cry and shit. So basically, you lobotomize yourself into enjoying a shitty game and bully your son in the co-op. Yeah, pretty much. You guys got to come to Marlago, Florida, so you can try the multiplayer. I'd rather staple my wrinkly ball sack to the ceiling. I'd come over if we were playing Sonic R on the Saturn. None of that Gems Collection shit, though. Did Geriatric Joe just shit on Gems Collection? Focus, boys. Sonic Unleashed is personally one of my favorite games in the series. Personally, I'd give it an A. Truly the last Sonic game with soul, beautiful art style, fantastic story, and a wonderful globe-trotting theme. The Werehog is fun, and its platforming really isn't that bad. Also the most challenging 3D Sonic game to date, which for real ones is a bonus. Dog shit game. Oh man, I love running down boring ass straight lines during the day and doing gay god of war Skill ripoff issue. combos at night. C tier at best. Your dumbass likes 06. Anything you say is fucking worthless. Barry put that shit up in S tier. Hell nah, chief. This shit ain't goat material. But is an A tier game? Fine. Sonic Colors, what a tremendous game. Unique environments, fire ass music. This game really brought Sonic back to his roots. A tier, maybe even S tier. I have funny memories with this game. I remember being disappointed by it and reading Trump's tweets about my birth certificate being fake on the same day. Good times, no hard feelings, right? Depends. Can you agree to put colors lower? Nope, it's a top tier game. The worlds were cool as hell. Planet Wisp and Asteroid Coaster are some of the most visually interesting Sonic zones since Sonic 2. Barack, you can even use the GameCube controller for it that earns it an A, at least. How does having GameCube controller support earn a slow-ass game like Colors in A tier? I never owned a Wii, so can't talk out of turn. I wanted to give the remake a shot, but I saw how shit it looked. Joe, we had a Wii at the White House, and we played it on launch day. Nope, can't recall Colors. What was it like? His dementia is setting in. Sleepy Joe can't help it. Fuck you, Donald. Joe, imagine if Spring Yard Zone from Sonic 1 was an entire game. That's basically Sonic Colors. Jack, that sounds fun as hell. Of course, the Sonic 1 apologist likes that slow shit. I'm putting it in C tier at best. Fuck you, Abomination. Sonic Colors is fucking goaded. Nope, that belongs to Sonic Generations. What a phenomenal game. Bomb-ass level design that is highly replayable. The perfected boost formula, it's all here. Not to mention the 2D sections are pretty good. I know the physics for those levels are all fucked up, but the level design is highly replayable. However, after replaying Generations recently, the game honestly feels pretty empty. It's so obvious the keys to the boss fights are only done to extend game time by an hour. This would be forgiven if we got bigger and better boost games after, but we got a decade of shit. Generations is a good blueprint. Shame no game after improved upon it. I'm feeling a B tier. I agree with bro Biden. Sonic Generations is pretty average. Holy fuck, I can write a Bible of all the dumb shit you've both said. But that has to be near the top. Sonic Generations Average. One of the few games in the franchise that you can go in blind and enjoy without having to temper your expectations in B. Insane. Wait a second, guys. We forgot Sonic 4. Was that a real game? I honestly thought my memories of it were a fever dream. Sadly, no. Sonic 4 Episodes 1 and 2 are so awful, even I can't even forget about horrible they are. You know what? Forget I said anything. Let's just give Sonic Generations a B and move on. Fuck you guys, Jens is peak boost Sonic. Oh shit, Sonic Lost World. That's the one Baron's autistic ass was obsessed with. That game sucked, though. I'd give it a D. Does Sonic Lost World have any fans? Why would anyone think highly of this Mario Galaxy ripoff baby shit? Baron likes it, but to be honest, that kid can enjoy anything if he spends enough time with it. You talking about yourself, Donald? Fuck you, China Joe. At least my sons don't smoke crack and molest their cousins. Shut the hell up. Back on topic. Sonic Lost World is an easy D tier. Agreed. Honestly, same can be said for forces. The game was complete and utter garbage D tier. Honestly, the only thing I recall about this game is that during one of the cutscenes, I was reading Trump's Twitter post where he threatened Kim Jong-un with nuclear war. 
Kim Jong-un is fucking bitch-made and piped down after I threatened to turn his shithole country into the world's largest parking lot with nuclear hellfire and stealth bombers. He was like that motherfucker infinite, just a whiny, retarded edgelord that gets blown the fuck out by Sonic and Egg Chad. Joe, little word of advice, you should just threaten Putin with nukes. If he keeps that shit up in Ukraine or wherever the fuck he is at this point, just baptize him and Russia with a few ICBMs. Maybe after we rank frontiers personally, I'd give it a C. Agreed, the game is way too fucking easy and the world is boring. Trump, the bosses were fucking great and the world was not empty. It was great looking for enemies to fight, finding the chaos emeralds. And while the combat is easy, it's still really fun. Barry, I beg, please play any platformer besides Sonic shit. Sonic Frontiers put me to sleep. To be fair, that really isn't a hard thing to do. Fine, I'll put it in C. Donald, you obese orangutan looking fuck. I'm gonna call a tactical nuke if you keep this up. Just try me, Joe. Oh shit, we forgot Mania personally. That's an easy S tier. Fine by me. Mania is some good ass video game. T Lopes really outdid himself with the music. For that alone, Mania belongs in S tier. Shame we never got a sequel. Well, that's the list. Personally, the bottom half of the list is pretty accurate. Everything above B is wrong. I agree, this isn't the worst one we've made. Well, good work, everyone. I'm gonna go take a fat shit. Hey, Joe, wanna play Streets of Rage 2 next time I'm in DC? Hell yeah!